it pains me so much that even today I need to go and explain to patients why laparoscopy is more important than laparotomy. This shouldn't be the case at all. Why is this even still happening? I'm going to make this video to break it down for you guys to make sure you understand what are the clear benefits of laparoscopy and there are no disadvantages okay so probably this is the end of the video but you know if you want to know more about why laparoscopy is uh, more better than a laparotomy uh, do check out the rest of the video and a quick disclaimer guys the doctor who's actually informing you that the laparotomy or open surgery is much better than laparoscopy is just telling you that because he or she has no training in laparoscopy whatsoever and probably she is not very comfortable in doing laparoscopy so that is the only reason why she's telling you that because clearly if you look at all the statistics and what i'm going to tell you right now you will understand that laparoscopy is definitely far superior to laparotomy the very first advantage the laparoscopy by itself is going to give you 80 times more magnification than open surgery which means we are looking at the organ what we need to operate inside the telescope and this telescope is projected onto a monitor and this will give us a nice uh, high definition view of what we need to operate on and this is almost 80 times more magnification than what you get when you normally operate so this is probably the first advantage what i can say whenever i think about open surgery i think about lord narashima where he opens like the bad guy's uh, abdominal cavity you know with a lot of retractors and everything else and that's how open surgery is you make a large incision in your tummy you open up you have a look about everything inside you have retractors which are placed so there's a lot of tissue disruption whereas in laparoscopy we make two or three tiny incisions inside the abdomen and through that we pass in a telescope and then we pass in few other instrumentation to make sure we're able to complete the whole procedure. So it really doesn't require you to open the complete abdomen at all. Of course, when we make tiny incisions in the abdomen, that also means that there is less chance for infection to go in. So you make a larger incision, you obviously have more chance of infection from outside to go inside your body. But when you make small tiny incisions, there is very less likelihood for infection, uh, infections to go in. Also, when we do laparoscopic surgery, we fill up the abdomen with carbon dioxide. So what does carbon dioxide do? First of all, it is detrimental to certain bacteria. At the same time, when you fill the body with gas, every time the property of the gas is to get out as early as possible. So whatever bacteria gets in also gets pushed out. Another important thing which might be more beneficial for the surgeon is that uh, the chances of addition formation is very less. What is an addition? Uh, when you have an open surgery, there is a chance for all the organs inside your body to get stuck to your abdominal wall. So whereas when you do a laparoscopy, what happens is that we have a port of entry at one point, the target organ is at another point. So what happens because of this, the distance is a lot more. So there is no contact between the raw area and the incision. So because of this, there is very less addition formation, which is actually very important because when all the st uh, structures are stuck inside, it becomes very challenging for the next surgeon. If in case you had to undergo a second surgery, it is very challenging for the next surgeon to go ahead and do that and if all of this isn't enough the amount of pain which you actually perceive after a laparoscopic surgery is much 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 lesser than an open surgery uh, how am i telling you and how am i telling you this so confidently is because after a laparoscopic surgery the patient will be able to mobilize the very same day but then after an open surgery the patient has to mobilize only after three or four days of hospitalization so this itself, I think, should be a deterring factor from people to do an open surgery. And of course, out of everything, they say that the um, surgeons are remembered by their uh, patients only by the scars they make. I would never want to be uh, remembered by my patient this way. So I would rather give them no scars than a large ugly scar. So I feel like laparoscopic surgery gives them very tiny incisions, which after six or seven months is not even visible. So definitely, cosmetically, laparoscopic surgery, way to go. There are several, several, several advantages like a lower chance of hernia formation, less aspiration pneumonia, low chance of DVT, 
so many so many more so i'm not really going to dive deep into this this is just for an information for all you guys to make sure that if in case any doctor is telling you you have to go for an open surgery you have no other option definitely go ahead and take another uh, opinion this is this is why second opinion is very very important guys anyway guys i hope you found this video useful do subscribe to this channel for more informative video like this and also uh, make sure you follow me on instagram or share so until the next one guys uh, take care and i'll see you in the next one